Hi, my name is Austin Gill, and I like to build fun and interesting things for the web. In my videos, I'm going to be building out new projects, checking out different technologies, and sharing the things that I learn along the way. So if that sounds interesting to you and you want to tag along, then why don't you subscribe and we can build something fun together. Hey, so today I wanted to show off a, a cool little feature from a recent app that we've been working on. So I'll pull that up right now and we can see that this is a forecast app. So uh, part of the important information about doing a weather forecast is knowing the location where we're getting weather from. So we can see here in dev mode, we're just randomly generating some location data, uh, but we also have this search location feature. And I wanna show like if I go to uh, Portland, Oregon and do a search, uh, that's going to reload the app and we're going to be getting the current weather for uh, Portland, Oregon. And I can see that that's kind of sending some information across in the query. But if I go back to uh, just the root page, uh, we can see that we're still looking at the weather from Portland. And that's kind of uh, handy if I ever leave and come back to the app. So let's look at exactly how we're kind of accomplishing that. Uh, so if I look here, hide that. Uh, if I look at my application here, we're building this with uh, Akamai edge workers. So we've got some functions to get the weather look or to get the, uh, the date and the wind direction. And the key thing I wanna look at here today is these few lines that are going on down here. So what we're doing to begin with is we have to get the location information, right? And to uh, prioritize where that location information is coming from, first, we're going to grab the query information from the request as a URL search parameters object. Uh, and then we're going to also grab the cookies from the request, from the, uh, the cookies header. So what we can do is by default, set up the location that we're working with to a cookie object. So if a cookie comes across with a request from a previous visit, we'll use that. Uh, however, if we have a query string parameter for the location, we can actually update the location value that we're working with, uh, set it to that location query string, and then we can go ahead and update the uh, cookie header as well, so that in future requests, we'll be working with the, the latest searched location. Uh, and then by default, if what happens if we don't have a query or a, a cookie, then we can uh, grab the request user location information from the request. We can get the city, region, and country. And this is something that's going to be really interesting and unique to Akamai edge workers because uh, that stuff, that information isn't available in a standard node server application because you may not know exactly where that uh, server is running, or maybe you've deployed it in um, like Portland, Oregon, then you know every time it's gonna be in Portland, Oregon. But Akamai edge workers are unique because they are JavaScript runtimes that run uh, basically as close to the user as possible. So they're distributed all over the world. And because of that, the server that's running the Akamai edge worker actually has the information on where that edge worker is running. So it can provide that to you. So when I'm uh, hitting an edge worker close to Portland, Oregon, I'm getting the server over there. So it knows that I'm in Portland, Oregon, and it can give me that information by default. So it's super cool, super handy. And it's a way to get a little bit of information about the user's location or relative location without needing information. And you don't have to worry about it being GDPR compliant because after all, we're not getting the information from the actual user. It's not personally identifiable. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then I guess one last thing that's worth sharing is we could also uh, grab the user location or request the user location from the user. We're not doing that in this application, but it's pretty handy to know all of the different options that we have available. Uh, if we go to navigator.geolocation.get current position, and that's going to take a callback function. So I'm just going to pass that to console log. And if I execute that, uh, that's when we see this pop up that says, hey, uh, the browser is asking to know your location. Do you want to show it, allow it or deny it or whatever? And, uh, yeah, sure. I can go ahead and allow it. 
uh, and it's going to give me in that geolocation position, uh, I'll have some coordinates. So in theory, I could request that information, uh, reload this application with that new uh, geolocation, I think uh, latitude and longitude, and you know do the request all over again that way. So it's really handy. We, we looked at four different places where we're storing that location information, or I guess three that we're doing and a fourth optional. Uh, we're checking the query string parameters. We're checking if the cookie has the previous location that was searched. And if not, we're falling back to the location that's provided by Akamai Edge Workers. So I think that's a super handy tip. And if you have to do anything that's location or geolocation based, uh, Edge Workers are a super cool tool for that because they make that uh, user location object available. Hope that was handy. And you know, be sure to subscribe and like if you like these sort of tips and we'll be back with some more. See ya.